terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. Okay. Unbelievable what is going on with the Bidens. Just the scope and the scale of the criminality. It's almost unfathomable. What else is unfathomable is how many Trump associates have gone down for the same crimes that Biden's committed. Nobody's touched them. James Comer, who has now uh, worked his way through thousands of pages of the suspicious activity reports from the from the U.S. Treasury. And those were uh, the suspicious activity report program was created by George Bush to spot and stop terrorism. They wanted to stop terrorists from laundering money through the banking system. Money laundering is, of course, a crime. And if you're a terrorist organization or you're a drug cartel, that was the two things they, nor- they, they mainly targeted, you're probably moving a lot of money. You can't report it to the IRS because you didn't make it you know, legally. So they created an algorithm at the Treasury Department that would automatically flag what looked like either major criminal gangs you know, transacting, transferring money, or terror organizations, or both. The Biden family has at least 150 of these reports associated with it. So these are reports on money that moves that doesn't appear to be legitimate, appears to be criminally gained, um, and, you know, is not reported to the government or will not be reported to the, go- report to the government. It, it catches that pattern. They've now found that, get this, at least a dozen members of President Joe Biden's family may be taking part in an influence peddling scheme. House Oversight Chairman James Comer reported on Fox News thousands of pages of documents. He said there's more suspicious activity reports than had previously been reported. That means more than 150. That is unbelievable. It's unusual for a business or operation or group or whoever to get even one of these. And he says many more family members uh, of the Biden family were involved in peddling uh, influence uh, and that he does not believe so far that he has found a legitimate transaction. In other words, where it's clear what exactly the Bidens were doing to receive the money, what product they were producing, what service they were giving. So he says there's at least nine Bidens uh, tied directly to the shady business dealings uncovered. In other words, they're getting the money straight up. He says in the number in the end, the number will be at least 12. And he says when people say, well, they were involved in ventures around the world, he said, I haven't found the legitimate business on the Biden end yet. Um, but millions and millions of dollars are changing hands. And Comer said in a tweet, the Biden family business model is built on Joe Biden's political career. We now know that at least nine Biden family members sold access for profit around the world. And he says, what, uh, are, uh, what were our foreign adversaries paying for? That's the big question. So they've been fighting the Treasury for two years to see these. The, right off the top, one of the problems, and Paul Manafort went to prison for this, uh, he was Trump's campaign manager briefly, uh, was that uh, Manafort had been doing business uh, with foreign countries but never registered as a foreign agent. That's a felony. Uh, and Comer says that every one of these Biden family members are guilty of that multiple charges, but they've never been charged with it. He says there's more than a dozen limited liability companies or LLCs that are part of the scheme. So, folks, I mean, like we only have confer- confirmed just one of these transactions, and that was the million dollars that the Biden family got from CEFC, uh, which was a natural gas company that's owned by the People's Liberation Army of China. So that's not, it's not a real company. Uh, it's just, it was built to transfer money, funds for corruption. Uh, and the Bidens were, were big recipients of that money. Comer says, quote, China was probably the most reputable country that the Biden family was dealing with. The question remains, what were these family members doing to receive this money? To me, the most stunning le- revelation last week was about the uh, prostitution, human trafficking, that the Bidens were deeply involved in that. Multiple members of the Biden family, not just Hunter, and they were trafficking Ukrainian and Russian prostitutes internationally. They have transactions going back and forth with human trafficking groups that were primarily Ukrainian and Russian. And what's really interesting is that that was done through Hunter's company, Owasco, 
There were 28 people, including many Biden family members, we don't know which, who received the service services from the traffic prostitutes. Um, so I want to know who are the 28, which members of the Biden family and who outside the Biden family was receiving these <clears throat> services, shall we say. So this is a tremendous amount of corruption. You know what's interesting about it in, in a really weird way? The damage has already been done here. And we're almost doing the Democrats a favor because they want to get rid of Biden so badly, but they haven't figured out how to gracefully do it. We may do it for them. And just about any candidate on their side, any candidate's going to be a stronger candidate than Joe Biden. That doesn't help us. So the irony here is everything that we uncover is going to help the left. And Biden's not going to prison. There's no way. No, because he his illegality impl implicates too many Democrats. Uh, too many people could go down, including Barack Obama. So they can't, I mean, they're going to have to bury this. And they'll do small, low-level charges for Hunter. They'll ignore the vast majority of his crimes. Uh, he'll get a conviction, probably something that doesn't require, require him to serve any prison time. And then the Biden family, friends and associates will pay off the fines. That's how that's going to go. But it'll work. It'll work to get rid of Biden. That's the, that's just, it's just, it's the irony of it. Texture writes, Tara, they're so deep into uh, human trafficking that Hunter has a tattoo on his back of a human trafficking hotspot in New York. Yeah, that has been the theory online. The uh, Great Lakes tattoo that he has. Nobody knows for sure, though. Texture writes, Peter Schweitzer exposed the Biden crime family in 2018 with secret empires. Nothing done. Uh, stole election 2020. One of the Republicans going to, uh, I think, stop it. I think they will uh, in time to get a better Democrat candidate. That's the irony. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.